Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Kelvin Eats, and today we're going to be running a 10k. Today my friends are running a local 10k around the Imperial Palace, and it seems to be like a pretty good mix of people. There's uh, people who look pretty professional, you know, running a really fast 10k, maybe sub 40. But for us, we're going to take it nice and easy, and uh, yeah, just enjoy the nice weather and the views. Google. Yep. Uh, it said banana and what else? Hot cereal? I ate a little chocolate cake. Chocolate? Yeah. That's <laughs> cool. cool. That's Matsuya. Matsuya? Yeah. Oh. The salmon. You don't? Salmon. Salmon. Yay! So, guys, the race just started. And uh, you can see that all the pro people, they're actually all like up ahead of us quite a lot. And then, look at when you go. Yeah. We're running an uphill right now. Okay. So the Imperial Palace is a five kilometer loop. We're gonna run the loop twice. Okay. So one thing that's cool about the Imperial Palace is that everybody runs in the same direction, basically counterclockwise. So if you see, everybody's running in just one way and nobody goes against the, the flow. Running is a really, really popular sport in Japan, I guess, especially with everything that's going on right now. You can't really go to gyms as much. You can't really, you know, gather. So running is just a good exercise. Easy to do. All you need is a pair of shoes and then you're good to go. So we just finished running halfway through. So let's ask our competitors how they feel. Like, no, it's still We're slow. Okay, she's like McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's wanting to get there. Oh, there. Okay. okay. We're way behind. We're right, halfway. How do you feel? Oh, I'm feeling are you great. Fine? Yeah. Really? Oh, oh, energetic. <laughs> I like that there's no stoplight, so we can continuously run. Imagine if we always had to stop because of red lights. That'd be but terrible. Or maybe a really good thing, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> maybe really good, we get to rest. <laughs> you guys are almost there. Yes. We're at like seven kilometers right now. Wow. So three just more. three more. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't give up. Don't give up. So we're talking about uh, where to go eat, but we're actually not done racing yet. We're actually not done. But, like after yeah. McDonald's, and now we're talking about dim sum. Dim sum. So one of the nice things about running at the Imperial Palace is that there's a good mix of nature, but also city. There's a lot of trees that provide some shade, but we also go by some areas where there's a lot of tall buildings in the financial district. Hey Warwick, how you doing? Yeah. Good. So we're almost done. Yeah. It's time to kick it into overdrive. You ready to use turbo mode? Can we get the... I think we can get the... Oh. Really? Push, push, push! Oh! Look, Scotty! Oh! Good job, guys! Wait, I can't stop! Oh! Good job! How'd you guys do? Great! Hungry! She's hungry. You heard that? How do you feel? <laughs> Good. Okay. Good. Are you sure? No, no. I think I'm gonna go. Or how do you feel? Okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I feel hungry. <laughs> yeah. I want to eat something as well. Yeah. yeah. Let's go get some food. Okay. Yoki <laughs> 
Our run just finished and the girls did a super good job. I think that uh, running around this area is just a really, really, really fun experience, especially today with the weather being so great. Didn't end up getting McDonald's, but we did get dim sum to celebrate. All right, guys, we got our food. Nothing like stuffing your face after a hard workout, right? Well, had a lot of fun, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Okay guys, that's all right. Thank you for watching. Bye bye!